hardworking students of Ranger Catering at the Lakewood City Schools for this long-time partnership. It's my pleasure to introduce Michael Callahan, President of the Lakewood Board of Education. for this time-honored uh, gathering of, of leaders and, and stakeholders. I'm certainly grateful to be here with, with all of you um, and pleased to, to introduce and acknowledge our elected officials who are here with us uh, today. I'll begin with my colleagues on the Lakewood Board of Education, Board Vice President Linda Beebe. <laughs> Board Member Emma Petrie Barcelona. <laughs> Board Member Nora Katzenberger. Representative Dale Miller, <laughs> Mayor Megan George, <laughs> and Municipal Court Judge Tess Knapp is here with us, <laughs> City Council Vice President and at large uh, Rep Sarah Keppel, Ward <laughs> One Council Kyle Baker. I know it's a tradition to, to introduce all the elected officials, and uh, I certainly, being one, appreciate that tradition. But I want to acknowledge that, that everyone in the room is certainly worth an introduction. However, uh, breakfast hasn't been served. Uh, and so, in the interest of our timeline, I will now introduce uh, the Reverend Dr. Jim Butler from Lakewood Presbyterian Church, who will give today's invocation. taller than I am, Michael. Um, good to see all of you. Before I offer the prayer, I just want to give a shout out to my friends and colleagues at the ministerial table. Wave your hands there. Rabbi Ian Bader, George Hansel. So a couple of you are going to be to see but uh, unfortunately they're not well. So whatever your faith tradition, I hope that you'll bow your hearts and heads with me. And just for a moment, let us pray and reflect together. Let us pray. And so, gracious God, as we gather this beautiful morning, <clears throat> we rejoice in the gift of this day, which we have received by your gracious mercy and your unfailing love. Most especially, we are thankful for the companionship of our families, our friends, our colleagues, and our fellow citizens and neighbors, and for the strength and the capacity uh, to serve and to bless the lives of others as community leaders. Lord, even as we rejoice and embrace the call that you have given us. We are mindful of the brokenness and the pain and the suffering that is also present in your world. <clears throat> and we do trust that you hold the concerns not only of our fair city in your hands, but also of the international community. And in times like this one, we do ask that you will save us from ourselves and lead us to that promised day when swords will be transformed into plowshares. And so today as we gather around these bountiful tables, we give you thanks for this food and for the hands that uh, produced it and uh, prepared it and now served it, and for the challenges of this, our beloved city, which is a place for us of beauty, of struggle, of diversity, of wealth and poverty, of privileged and also the under-resourced, and everything and everyone in between. Help us as we gather this morning to break bread and to hear good news and seek the good of all with whom we live and work and play so that together our city will become a reflection of that eternal city beloved by hundreds of millions where tears are dried, where children and the aged play and live together unafraid and where justice and mercy rolls down like the waters. And all this we pray 
in the name and in the service for all that is good and true and just and holy. And together we say, Amen. It's just been you all week. And so, and the students, yes, of course. Uh, but thank you so much for all you do. This has been a Adaptive intelligence is a dramatic reappraisal and reframing of the concept of human intelligence. The only reason the average IQ remained at 100 is that test publishers kept renorming intelligence tests to set the average at 100. But is this notion of intelligence, commonly re referred to as general intelligence, adequate today? Does it do justice to the knowledge and skills needed to confront the problems that face us today? The following are quick examples of the curriculum work our district has been undertaking to ensure our students not only know what our vision of the Lakewood graduate is, but in turn, our students possess these skills when they graduate. For the last couple of years, we've continued to take this theory of intelligence and the skills, abilities, and habits of mind bridge the gap. And when we bridge that gap, we work with our pre-K to 12 administrators and teachers to say, what are these important skills and how are we going to measure these skills to ensure that it's just not something we say we're doing, that we'll be able to say we're doing, and our students have these skills when they leave us. So just a little bit behind the scenes, and I won't go into this too much. So for example, this is our communication strand of our uh, Vision of the Lakewood graduate, and you can see it's broken down by grade band. It's broken down then with I can statements, so it makes it very clear to the students what we expect them to know. There's sub-skills to this, and then in turn, we are now beginning to develop what's that evidence. So we'll be able to know when our students graduate they possess the skills they're going to need to be successful in whatever career or work they choose, and knowing that they'll probably end up having 10 to 15 jobs as they go through their life. I said I will not geek out on that too much with you. So the best part, our students. Our students represent the skills that we try to embed every day with them. And so I would like to invite up our principal of Hayes Elementary, Mr. Fortuna, and his fabulous student group. They're gonna do some pres presentation for us. Good morning, I'm Eric Fortuna, I'm the principal of Hayes Elementary School, and thank you, Mrs. Nedswick, for inviting us to this special breakfast this morning. Um, so this introduction was really a perfect segue into what we're going to be talking about. Our Hayes team Some things don't change. <laughs> so our Hayes team continues to teach and help students grow in all the areas of the vision of the Lakewood graduate, and as educators, we're also continuing to develop in these competencies. This year, we had a focus on the vision of a Lakewood educator. We discussed their important at our district meetings, which just shown up there on the screen, and also at our building, building level BLT meetings throughout the course of the school year. And we're currently integrating those competencies into our lessons and our daily instruction. 
So this morning I'm pleased to have Erica O'Grady here. She's our student wellness specialist that's worked at Hayes for the last two years. And she's done great work with our students, staff, and families. And I have the privilege of working with her and our brave fifth grade students that are going to be up here in just a minute. And we get to lead our fifth grade student council. So they get to plan activities like our PBIS bookstore, our book buddies in the building, assemblies, and all kinds of service projects, which they're going to do. So all these things um, that I just spoke about, are, we give them the opportunity to be leaders and ambassadors in our school. So I'll invite Mrs. O'Grady up right now. She's going to introduce our students so they can talk a little bit about some of their service projects. Good morning. Hi. Um, thanks, Mr. Fortuna, for the nice intro. I'm Erica O'Grady. I'm one of the student wellness specialists in our district. At Hayes, we're supporting student growth within the competencies of the vision of a Lincoln graduate. And I feel so fortunate to work with these incredible fifth graders in our student council. Together, we're working to solve problems, make connections, and lift up those around us, not just within the walls of our school, but throughout the community as well. These fifth graders, my very favorite friends, <laughs> have demonstrated the enthusiasm and motivation to be of service to others by helping both our local APL, as well as a global effort to fill a library at a refugee center in Dijon, Kenya. So, please join me in welcoming members of the Hayes Student Council, Dawn, Nora, Vivian, Colleen, Lily, and Charlotte, who will share some more details about our service project. Today we are going to tell you about the APL service project that has been going on at Hayes Elementary School. We and all of the other students over at Hayes have been collecting donations to help the Lakewood APL. Some examples of items donated are dog and cat toys clean, dog and cat food, and even some office, office supplies including products to help keep the animals there nice and clean. Our vision of a Lakewood graduate has six included competencies, one of them being critical and creative thinking. When organizing and preparing the APL service project, we have been meeting monthly to talk about what we can do for the project. We have been working hard trying to succeed in the job that we care about. We also have sent out an email to the families of Hayes and the PTL families telling them about the APL service project. And in the words of the local APL, the local animal protection speaks mission is to foster companion and end animal suffering. Our student council has been trying to by coming up with amazing ideas for the service project. For example, we have we collected items like food, toys, and cleaning supplies that shampoo and conditioner to make our dogs and cats clean. Our Hayes families has donated our Hayes family have, has donated all the things that we think and know these animals need. The Hayes Student Council is aware that this matter is really important and we need to do something about it. So we've been telling our parents that we are donating and what to donate. Hayes Student Council really cares about this and we hope you do too. Hi, my name is Vivian. Our school has empathy for people in nature. How our school has empathy is that we think about how we would feel if we were homeless animals that didn't have a home yet. And we want to make it as comfortable as we can for those animals who have a home yet. I know our school loves thinking about how we will help these animals <laughs> The student council is collaborating with each other and all the other grades to gather donations um, to the Lakewood APL. We are collaborating with the, Lakewood, with the Lakewood APL. We hope our community project will bring these animals joy and comfort. Fundraiser for the dogs library. 
<clears throat> Hi, my name is Kula, and after reading the graphic novel Where the Stars Are Scattered, a decision was made to raise money to purchase books for a library in Tadal. One of the authors, Omar Mohammed, started the library in the camp. Students at Hayes love our library and want to share their love of books with other people around the world. They believe that every child should have an equal education and get the same opportunities that other children receive. My name is Charlotte. We are collaborating with the Refugee Strong Association to help bring the world closer to our school. The Dadaab Refugee Center is a refugee camp in Dadaab, which is located in Kenya. There are currently over 220,000 refugees in the camp. We hope that the books will help children gain literacy skills. We also hope that the money we donated to fill the library in Dadaab with books will grow the minds of the children in the camp. On behalf of the Hay Student Council, we thank you for the time this morning. We would also like to thank all of our teachers, friends, and family members that came out to support us today. Thank you. I <laughs> want to think for a minute, when you were 10 years old, what were you learning? <laughs> Great job. That's amazing. I just, it, it's amazing to think. I mean, perspective, 10 years old, just presented that information, and they, they did a wonderful job, and thank you, Erica, also. Our teachers are amazing, and that's what really assists our students in the classroom every day, so great job. Next, I would like to introduce Dr. Pettigrew, and she has a presentation for us from a middle school perspective of some of the work that's going on. about a little bit what's going on at Garfield and how we are embracing the vision of Lakewood graduate and vision of Lakewood educator. Um, we have a student <laughs> ambassador program and this program allows for our students to connect with incoming students and if any of you have ever had to transition into a new place where you didn't know anyone and you were just the new one in the room and you know how uncomfortable that feels we decided to take that experience and make sure that our current Garfield students are able to connect with these incoming students and then also demonstrate what the vision of the Lakewood graduate is on a first-hand basis, okay? So, although I would love to talk about Garfield all day long, <laughs> I have a couple of our students here who are going to give you their experience, um, so come on up. We have eighth grade student, Nicole Kemp, and our sixth, one of our sixth grade students, Elm Russell. Good morning, my name is Nicole Kemp. I'm an eighth grade student ambassador for Garfield Middle School. One of the things about myself is I'm an older sister to my brother in the sixth grade. As a student ambassador, I help with things around my school. I help by making announcements in the morning and showing around new students when they first come to Garfield. As a student ambassador, I enjoy having the chance to interact with different people and create a positive school environment for them as well. Being a student ambassador is a great way to gain leadership skills, communicate, collaborate, and help my peers around school. I enjoy being a part of things in Garfield and helping out wherever and whenever I can. Being an ambassador is a great opportunity to interact in my school. It has been an amazing chance to gain more confidence and practice public speaking. I used to be nervous when speaking in public or in front of a crowd, but this year, as an ambassador, I found myself less and less nervous and more, uh, and more having lit, having more, and more have assurance in my words. Plus, I love being able to give back to my school and help other students succeed. Hello, I am Elm Russell, and I'm a student ambassador at Garfield Middle School. My job is to introduce new students to the school and show them to their classes so that their new school Garfield feels more comfortable and welcoming. I enjoy doing this job because it means that when I introduce the student, I sometimes talk to people that I don't usually reach out to. 
This positively affects the student and me. The new student's benefit is that they get to know more people, and I find this makes it a little easier for the student who did the swing of classes and making sure they get up to class on time. It also benefits me because I get to go, I get to know more people deeper than I otherwise would have. I have been a new student at many different schools, and none of them have ever had a student ambassador to welcome me. I think that if I was a new student here, the student ambassadors would help me feel more welcome. In some classes, cases, I practically had a mini welcoming group, and most of them go, go to Garfield now. I'm actually really good friends with them. Meeting them has helped me make new friends and engage in different activities with them, and it's all paid off. The lasting effect of this means that I and the others I meet I, um, help me have lots of fun introducing students to the other people I've met, and they all have lasting relations here, and I get to talk to them between classes often. Being a student ambassador here at Garfield made a lasting effect on me, and I hope to be my next teacher. this morning. So I told them, I'm like, I'm very confident that you will do well. Um, they've been fantastic connecting with our new students and maintaining those relationships. It's very important that we carry out the vision of a Lakewood graduate in the classroom, but then also extend those real world experience. And I'm very confident that our students at Garfield, once they leave us and go into high school, they will be prepared for the real world. So I thank you for your time this morning. And a great job, you know, giving or sharing with us exactly how we're learning to communicate just at such a young age. Next, I would like to introduce Lauren Small, CEO uh, and President of the Lakewood Chamber of Commerce. Thank you, everyone, and thank you for those awesome presentations. I can appreciate how much it takes to prepare and get up here, and you guys are gonna be awesome leaders in the future. So I appreciate you guys so much. Um, I just wanna keep it short and sweet. I just wanna say thank you so much to the Lakewood City Schools. It's an amazing place. Um, I think you, our future leaders are here, and I think that, um, that you guys will serve Lakewood well in the future. So I'm looking forward to seeing you in the future at the Chamber of Commerce. Thank you so much to Ranger Catering. Um, the food was amazing. Thanks to Christine for helping put this event together. And I just want to acknowledge um, if we have any current board members from the Chamber of Commerce, if you guys could stand up and be acknowledged. Um, it takes a village to do what we do, and I so appreciate all of you. And with that, I will uh, close and say thank you all for being here. I appreciate it.